Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of the Y Play Gaming Review Show. Um the Y Play Show. Uh I'm just gonna point out by the way, I'm not wearing the same shirt like all the time and stuff. I'm basically reviewing like a crap load of games today. It's Monday and I have nothing to do on a Monday. So I'm reviewing like five games at once so when you come to watch these videos on youtube the, when i schedule them uh, and you're like man he still hasn't had a shave and he looks exact and he's been wearing the shirt for like five weeks now it's not the case i'm actually just re reviewing like a i'm trying to review like three games on the one day that is a challenge in itself ladies and gentlemen anyway i digress Welcome to the show ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, Project Zomboid, a game that has been in development for a number of years. Uh, 2013 I think was when I pirated it because the game had a very strange development cycle uh, and you were like, whoa, you just said you pirated the game. Yes, yes, it had a very strange development cycle. More it was one of the most popular games to be pirated which actually nearly shut the project down it was so bad it was highly it was so pirated back in 2013 um or 40 i can't remember which year it was but they nearly physically shut down and i seen the articles and seen everyone talking about this and was like well what's this game about and i'm a huge zombie freak i love resident evil i love george romero's i love the walking dead left for dead anything that has the undead in it i i have to play it um and when it first came out it didn't look very interesting to me uh, there wasn't a lot that you could do you had this weird wife that was bitten and sort of was lying in a bed and you just felt like stabbing her uh, it had a weird development cycle ladies and gentlemen so what you're about to get to see is not what it looked like when i first played it and it's come a long way basically is what i'm trying to say but it still has a long way to go and i I like the way that they've developed it, and I like the fact that they're still developing it, but it just feels like it's, bit, it's kind of like that Star Citizen feel. This has been in development for so long now, when's it actually going to come out? Um, or be finished. So, yeah, I pirated it. The developers sort of went into this little rut where they didn't know if they were going to continue the game because so many people were pirating the game. They then managed to patch the issue and stop the pirates, and I felt bad because the development team was going to shut down because people were pirating it. And I had contributed to that piratism. Um, I went out and bought the game basically with a few friends of mine during a summer sale. It was on and I was like, I'm going to grab this. I like, you know, I pirated it. I liked the concept. I'm jumping in. So again, I'm rambling on a little bit too much now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into some actual gameplay footage so you can make up your own decision. Right, ladies and gentlemen, just bear with me. Yeah, we are uh, we are live. Okay. Um, just gonna turn the volume down in this game slightly. There we go. So we're now into the gameplay of Project Zomboid, and Project Zomboid is a Java isometric game. As I said, it's been in development for a long time. Uh, when I first joined, it was single player only and you had this little bit of a story. Um, now it's sort of developed into this bigger game, which is now multiplayer and such. Um, the reason I'm recording the desktop because it's easier to record it as a desktop monitor than it is to actually record the gameplay itself because it can get a little bit choppy. So, Project Zomboid has, as I say, it's come on in leaps and bounds and stuff. Um, we now have the likes of, oh god, I've clicked the wrong thing. We now have the likes of mods. So if I click on my mods, oh wow, I've actually downloaded quite a few mods. I played this quite a lot. Um, you know, we have the Walking Dead Prison, South Murder, APK, more buildings. Phoenix, Denver, mod templates. Uh, 
have a cheat menu apparently, which I have no idea if that's active or not. Okay, right. So there's a lot of mods. The like the modding community is pretty active. So let's jump into some solo gameplay. Uh, uh, we see you were infected quite recently. Do you want to tutorial before the invert? Yes, I do want to do the tutorial. So I'll take you through the tutorial and then hopefully you'll be able to make up your mind to whether you want to buy into this or not. This hasn't changed at all. So these are the end times. And the end times are a very long time, by the seems of things. <laughs> so, there we go. Welcome to Project Zombie. Shortly you'll find yourself dying horribly. No one will mourn you and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go fighting. Okay. Spacebar. First things, you can zoom in with your mouse wheel uh, or minus and equal keys. So get a bird's eye view the longer place you're about to die. Okay, zoom back in. That was great. Okay, next up, click on the heart icon. Also, I should just point out you don't always play as a coloured fella. You in the multiplayer you get to customise your character and traits. Here you can see your health status, scratches, bites, broken limbs are all shown here for your convenience. If you have medical skills, it's also here that you'll be able to patch yourself up. Let's click on skills. So the game does has have a progression system. It has a skill tree. Um and we can see that that's all here and such. While attempting to delay your death in game activities will build up points and you can choose to land speeds, increase books. Ultimately your brain will become cold. Delicious <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm really excited about what's coming next. Close your character uh, profile to find out. So we close that. It looks look at the stuff. Hold down your right mouse button. You can only see the direction in which you're facing swiftly on this that comes around the corner. Let's get the blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move ASD. Oh god, it's very laggy. This is why I wanted to record it in um, window mode. So let's have a look around. There's a big box there. Mm. Oh. All oh, right, so I need to sprint back to the kitchen. Ah, right, this one that's highlighted red.
Dead mouse. Wonderful. Let's double click it to pick it up. And we should pick up the empty bottle you're dying of first. Um, so this game is not the easiest to record because it's very friggin' laggy. I'll just drag it. I'm supposed to double click, but. See those uh, noodles on the right of your screen? Rumbling tummy. Right click an item to eat it. Okay. So down here you get your like your um I'll go from t I should have just basically not even done the tutorial and just told you how things work because I know how things work. So on the far left here we have our actual like player items that we can do and such. Um can sort of this is your equipped items this is actually your inventory so if I click on this we can see the inventory and such uh, I'm gonna have to eat this mouse because that's what it's telling me to do I can either eat half or all of it I'm gonna eat the rotten mouse that's better apart from the nausea okay space to continue um, so this little box here shows you what items you have on in there. That's your character's health. This is crafting one. Um, let's click off that space. Okay, let's fill the water bottle up. So if we right click, I'm going to fill my empty bottle up. And there we go, so I've filled the empty bottle up. Uh, automatically you can drink water to carry the main inventory. Now let's see what's in the other cupboards. So here we have the cupboards. Not in that one. Not in that one. Oh, there's a red one over here. A frying pan! Right click the flying pan and equip his primary weapon. Right, now I have a uh, frying pan. Let's open the window. Okay. So if I right click on this, I'm going to open the window. Now, there we go. Hold E to climb through the window. And we've encountered our first zombie, ladies and gentlemen. So holding the right mouse button, I can sort of sneak up behind this little fella and give him a whack. Oh, it didn't kill him. <gasps> ah, the freaking game has actually crashed. Again, this game is really awkward to, um... Again... <gasps> There we go! Check the zombie survival guide F1 for more tips. Spacebar. So if you press F1, you get like um, this little sort of raccoon type of thing up here, and he tells you basically how to survive and such. The game is starting to lag, so. But again, that's down to the fact that I'm recording this through OBS and such. It's not the actual games itself. So. So it is recording. Right, okay. Press Q. Ah. 
I'm only kidding. Hope is all gone. There's no antidote. <laughs> Have fun. Right. So, can I actually just open this? And you can see, like, the zombies have items on them as well. Oh, no word. That was really laggy, but, um... I think it's actually crashed because the amount of freaking zombies on. But. Wow. Wow. Well, um, that was the tutorial, and that didn't really show you a lot that's in the game. I was a bit upset with that. Like, when the game first came out, you had this, like, you can see the guy and his wife in the background there. And when this game first came out, there was a proper story mode. I mean, now, if I click solo now, I don't know if it's going to take me into it and stuff it is now it's going to take me into the uh the story mode so you know small horde recently zombies blah blah blah, blah. first weeks and you can set the difficulty mode and such you can even just do custom ones that you you set up and such um the multiplayer is really simple. I'll show you the, uh, the multiplayer. So this is your multiplayer server. Um, go to internet. It should load up like lots and lots of uh, servers and such. So these all don't have players in them at the moment, but some of them do. I don't know if it's because I'm live streaming that it's not. But normally there's a. There we go. 12 out of 125, 20 out of 100. Now I'm just going to point out it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in England, so a lot of people are at work and such. So I'm not playing in the prime time. Uh, prime time is, you know, 6 o'clock in whatever your time is, there'll be people playing and such. Um, Normally, when you join the server, you get to choose your loadout. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to create a character. Just going to call it um, Falcos. I'm not really going to call it. I have a password. Um, just going to hit join server and just show you, as I said, the character customization screen. really hard to uh, I feel like I'm battling this game to record this so I'm probably not going to do any more videos on this this is going to be the only video I will ever do for this game uh, again if I did it in full window mode it just wouldn't even work do I actually need a password okay I'll give it a password then Now can I join the server? Now I can join the server. It's connecting. So you got to see a little bit of the uh, gameplay from the tutorial there. Uh, again, this game, it, it's hard to cram all the details into 30 minutes. The base building is immense. Like Once you find a house that you really like, you can barricade it up, you can board the windows and such. Um, I'm gonna choose mod port next. So this is the character customization and it's not really a lot. So I'm gonna choose a male. 
and I'm gonna basically give it my normal name which is Falcos Jevil. J-E-R-V-I-L you can choose your skin colour, you can choose if you want to have chest hair or not um, you can choose to have stubble on your face like a beard so I'm gonna put stuff to that I'm not actually gonna click anything more because it's just causing problems uh, you can choose your hair you can have your beard type you can choose your sweater and stuff or like you know a vest bottoms pants you can change the color of the pants and stuff uh, it's brown color of your top it's yellow various different things ladies and gentlemen and then when you load in the same type of stuff that you do in single player you do in multiplayer and again there's pve and pvp servers depending on what type of um, stuff you want to go down and such uh, i can't really show you any more because the game is just i'm battling the game so i'm gonna end it here and i'm basically gonna do the pros and cons um for the last 10 minutes and probably cut this review short because of the way this game is not letting me record it uh, that's not the game's fault that's my fault I, I don't know so okay so we're back ladies and gentlemen um i just look like a blue smurf at the moment let me just put some light in So, that was Project Zomboid, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't really get to show you much gameplay. I actually feel really terrible because the game runs on Java, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just sort of an outdated type of style. I'd like to see that game sort of remade in maybe Unity um, using that type of style and such. Um, a lot of people complain about long loading times and such and there is the, it does have a lot of long loading times the art style i find it fairly decent i like i i because it wasn't i'm used to graphics i just grew up with like actual graphics i'm not used to this self-shaded or cartoon or isometric gameplay uh, that you would normally see on a, a game boy or stuff so to play a pc game like this i'm not very used to that style of gameplay but it, it didn't put me off um the functions that the game have are awesome the medical system you break your legs you need to find bandages morphine and actual medical equipment to fix yourself up the skill tree system will have you playing for a long time the zombies are assholes and will hunt you they will physically hunt you for ages i remember playing one time where i was on one side of the map like that one that you just saw me choose there mud I uh, Murdoch or whatever it's called and then there's a no north sort of town further north and I had like ran halfway in between them and there's a trailer park and I ducked in the trailer park and I'd managed to fix myself up and the zombie that I had sort of left on the motorway followed me to the trailer they actually followed me there and he'd brought friends with him and killed me that was awesome i loved the fact that the zombies will hunt you down if they know where you are and stuff um the longer you stay in one place the more the zombies sort of hone in on that and sort of realize oh he's in the woods over there and eventually you'll start getting stragglers and then the horde will come and kill you um the looting seemed fairly good the randomization of loot you could go into different houses and such for a zombie apocalypse simulator that's what i'm just going to call this it's a zombie apocalypse simulator this one sort of nails it on the head for me this is sort of the closest that a zombie game has got to the point where you're in a post-apocalyptic world and you have to survive by living off scraps that people have left behind 
you don't really get that in other games where you actually have to cook you have to learn to cook you have to learn to farm you have to learn to barricade you can play online and then be wary of the living you know fear the living don't fear the dead you know the walking dead type of phrase you get all that atmosphere in this game and it's nicely packaged there's a lot of flaws involved and it and this, this has mixed reviews because it's so long uh, in development and has been sort of going for ages and the development doesn't seem to be going anywhere but it is it is still being developed that like the 10th of october they just released like a dev update and stuff and the modding community does keep it up to date with new content like you, if you want to like play the game in the jail of the walking dead from season three someone's created that if you wanted a residence evil mansion someone's created that cheats if you are a person that likes to play with cheats dare i say it there's menus to help you sort of make the game slightly easier in single player not multiplayer single player um there's role playing servers there's pvp servers there, there is enough content to warrant the 10 pound payment charge and i highly recommend paying it it's one of those games it's been in development for a while uh, I hosted my own server for about three months, so I'm a little bit biased about this game because I was so not really a part of its development, but I, I'm, I feel like it's part of my history and I love zombie games anyway. So as I said, anything with zombies in it, I'm just like over the moon. This has been one of those games which is interesting where I can play on my own. I don't have to play with friends and I can feel like I'm enjoying it and I'm sort of building up like a little sort of house homes sort of things going off and finding stuff. A few things that I would have liked to see in the game, there's no animals. So the likes of your Daisy and other like games, hunting. I don't know if that you can add that as a mod. Um there's no vehicles. But you can add that as a mod. <laughs> a lot of stuff can be modded into the game. Um, I felt like you know that that they rely heavily on the modders to keep the game alive than actually developing the game themselves. So there is a lot of cons involved, um, but there's also a lot of you know pros involved and such. Again, it's personal preference, and it depends on why you want to play the game. Uh, the reason why I bought the game was because I'm a huge zombie freak and I wanted something that was different. There's no game out there that teaches you how to cook. The cooking system is immense. You actually have to have physical items like a cooking pot, a can of soup, a can opener, and you have to combine all these things. And then you have to time it. You don't just simply put it into a crafting menu system and the bar goes along and, oh, you've now got raw chicken. No, you have to like physically watch the chicken roast uh, the soup cook and if you don't do it properly like the sims you'll burn the house down and stuff and i felt that that was brilliant and it's not realistic timing but it's it's a it, you get that sense of sort of timed time thing i liked that um the zombies felt scary they didn't feel stupid and stuff uh, you can have two types you can have the fast moving ones or the george romero shamblers there's lots of customization, lots of replayability. The multiplayer will entice you a little bit more. I, as I said, I, I ran a server for about two and a half months off my own computer with friends. Uh, we built up this nice little farm and then eventually it got destroyed by some other players online and a few zombies and such. And we ended up burning the house down and on the end. Um, kind of like the... Uh, ending of the walking dead season two we just burnt the whole farm we just torched it i was like yeah we're shutting the save down torch it uh, but i come back every now and again when they update things and such and it's just a game to sort of de-stress and to have a have a nice chill out time i hope that's based uh, again i apologize for the gameplay footage it's it isn't much to go on and my opinion is very biased so all I can say is, if you can, I think there's a demo version on their website. Download the demo, try it out for yourself, and I think you'll be presently surprised as to why you need to buy, buy this game. Again, this has been the Why Play Gaming Review Show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope I've, 
you know influenced you enough and gave you a good informal review on why you should buy this game uh, and why you probably shouldn't buy this game i don't know um as always like favorite and subscribe it means a lot to me uh, again if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down but tell me why you didn't like the video i challenge you to tell me that uh, don't just simply like dislike the video and walk off call me an asshole do whatever you want it's it's your you know you, you have the freedom to do that put it in the comments section and i'll try and reply back to you with something witty uh, again if you are watching this on the steam review page it's it's up to you only you can start forest fires in you know project zomboid um yeah i hope this review's helped you make a formal decision on making the payments it's worth ten dollars if you're really bored it's not a triple a game by any means so unnecessary there is a few flaws and stuff but again it's made by a wonderful development team called indie stone who nearly went out of business due to piracy and they battled through it they deserve your 10 pound and you won't be disappointed with the gameplay um Again, there is a demo, try it out, and I think you'll like the game. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next video. It is getting dark now, and I've done like five videos.